Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of columns with you. Well, let's go ahead with the third column, the third and the fourth. I'm sorry, one, two, three. Yeah, third and the fourth column right there. So we'll go down. Okay, now it says 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 0. And here's a point right here. I need to plug in, this is your x and this is your y, and I need to plug those in here for x and y and see if it's true. Now before I even do that, I'm going to go ahead and put down the numbers 2x plus 3y. Okay, I know it's kind of hard there, but I'm going to be putting in the x and the y right there. So I'm going to go down the row here and do that now. So in other words, I'm going to put two parentheses plus three parentheses. I know it's kind of small. I'm just going to continue that all the way down. Okay, so I did that all the way down. Again, you don't have to do all this stuff right here, but um, you, know, you can do a lot of it in your head. But I need to show you what I'm calculating. So for our first problem here at negative 1, so I'm going to put a negative 1 right where that x is. And then for y, I'm going to put a 2. So I have 2 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus, oops, why did I put a, the y should be 2. So And then I have 3 times 2. That's a 3. My bad. 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so I have that. I have uh, negative 2 plus 6. Is that greater than or equal to 0? Well, let's see, 6 minus 2 is 4. Is 4 greater than or equal to 0? Yes, it is. So this one's okay. This one's okay. So that means that... That means that box 7 gets an S. Because it says 7 S, so box 7 gets a yes because it's this one works. So I go down to the bottom, I find box 7, and I put an S in there because it works. If it did not work, I would not use it. So for the next one, I'm going to put a 0 for X and a negative 1 for Y. Like that. Now again, you can do this in your head, but I'm just going to write it out so you can see it. Well, 2 times 0 is 0, so that's 0. And 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So is negative 3 greater than or equal to 0? Is it more than is it more than zero negative three? No, it's not. So you know what? Forget about fifteen box fifteen being R. It's just no. It's not going to work. Let's go to the next one. We'll put a three for x and a zero for y. Three for x and a zero for y. Well, two times three is six, and three times zero is just zero. So is six is six greater than zero? Yes, it is. This is a yes. So what you want to do is, for box 18, put the letter E in there. So go down to box 18 and put the letter E. So 18 gets an E. Okay, then we go back up and do the next one. The next one says, put negative 2 for X and a 1 for Y. Well, that will give me negative 4 plus 3. Okay, negative 4 plus 3, that's negative 1. Is that more than or equal to 0? Is it more than 0? No. So you know what? That one's out. We're not going to use, we're not going to put in box 10S. We're not going to do that. Go to the next one. Put a 5 for the X and put a negative 3 for the Y. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. So is 10 minus 9? That's 1. Is that greater than 0? Yes, it is. It's greater than 0. So you know what? Box number 2, we're going to put an O. Box 2 gets an O. So go down to box 2. Put an O. Okay, the next one. I'm going to put 0 and 0 in there. Oops, excuse me. All right, so 0 and 0. Well, that's 2 times that's just 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 0? 
Well, zero is greater, I mean, equal to zero, so this is a yes. So you know what? For 22, we're going to put the letter U. 22 gets a U. Go to 22 and put a U. Okay, now we go to the last one there, that column. And we're supposed to put a 2 for X and a negative 2 for Y. So 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, well, 4 minus 6, that's negative 2. Is negative 2 more than 0 or equal to it? No, no, it's not. So that's out. Okay, I'm now going to go to the, the next one over. Now, just like I did the other column, um, I'm going to go ahead and put, put in the main things, except just leave a blank in there for the X and the Y so I can plug the number in. Again, you can do this mentally if you like. So let's do the first one together. Okay, I'm going to put 2 for X and a 5 for the Y. So that gives me negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, plus 5 times 2 is 10. Well, 10 minus 6 is 4. Well, 4 equals 4. So this one works. So box 8 gets an L. So going down below, box 8 gets an L. That works. Okay, going to the second one, we'll put 0 for X and a half for Y. Okay, well, 3 times, that's 0. And notice how the 2's will cancel. They'll reduce. 2 goes in there once, 2 goes in there once. Your lap, this whole thing is just 1. So 0 plus 1, does that equal 4? Does 1 equal 4? No. No, it doesn't. So that's out. For the next one, we'll put a 1 for the X and 7 over 2. 7 and 2's on the bottom. That's for the Y. Well, this is negative 3. And over here, the 2's will cancel. See that? Two's, we have 1 on top, 1 on the bottom. They, can't, they reduce to 1. You're left with 7. Does that equal 4, 7, and negative 3? Yeah, 7 minus 3 is 4. So this works. So for box 13, you put a 0. Box 13 gets a 0. So go down to 13. And that gets an, not 0, but an O. Okay, go back up. The next one, we're going to put uh, two-thirds for the X. So the three is on the bottom. And then I have a one for the Y. Now notice how the threes will reduce. They'll cancel. Three goes into three once. And you're just left with negative two. And two times one is two. So negative two plus two. Does that equal four? No, that's zero, isn't it? Two and negative two is zero. So that's no. So forget about this 23 being L. The next one, negative one-third for X. So negative one over three. And, oops, put it in the wrong spot. Negative one over three. And then three over two. Three over two. All right. Uh, notice how the threes cancel, reduce, because you have one on top, one on the bottom. And then negative times a negative is a positive. So all this ends up to be 1. And then 2 goes into 2, right? And you're left with just 3. Does 1 plus 3 equal 4? Yes, it does. So for box number 3, you put a W. Go down to box 3. You put a W because it works. The next one is... Um, Put negative 2 in there, and I made a mistake here, sorry. So this is negative 2, sorry for the sloppiness, and then I have a negative 1. Okay, well, 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 negatives cancel. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Okay, so this is minus 2. Does 6 minus 2, does that equal 4? Yes, it does. This works. So for f box 15, put an O. 
Go down to 15. Put an O. Come back up. Next one, X is negative 1. And Y is 3. Well, 3 times 1 is 3, and the two negatives cancel. And 2 times 3 is just 6. So, does that work out? No, that's 9. It doesn't equal 4. Okay, so that's out. And there you go. Now, you don't have to do all the writing that I'm doing here. But, for example, let's take a look at this one in the, the left-hand corner. 